Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good Sam. Evening, yeah. Um, I, have, I have two main questions. The first question is that um, because I've had a heart attack four years ago, right? My heart is um, my heart is about 30, 40 percent um, uh, not destroyed in that sense, and my heart is only about 60 percent functioning. That is one question. Will the uh, the terror thing um, uh, work? On, on strengthening my heart because according to the medical doctors, uh, it, it, it's not going to it's not going to happen. It's not going to improve because every time I do my stress echo, uh, you can see that one part of my heart is struggling to keep up with the other part of the heart. Okay, so that is my 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 one question. Important question is to um, the, the how does the terror care help me? The second question is I suffer from hemorrhoids. I saw just now Mr. Soma showed what we do with the hemorrhoids. Um, but do can we can we actually blow directly directly on the hemorrhoids? Um, I've had my hemorrhoids taken out much earlier, uh, but I think it's a reoccurrence again. And um, and now the doctor says maybe we'll have to cut again, but I really dread <laughs> going under the knife again. So by by Mr. Soma showing just now we 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 deal with the back, blowing in the back and all that kind of thing. Uh, is it better to blow directly at the external hemorrhoid? Will that help? Um, and then thirdly, when we want to, um, how do you call, uh, use the eye terror for the water, do we use it on high, on the high level, or, or and, and how far away do we point the water? Uh, do we, do, are we away from the water? Actually, I've got my set just arrived today, and I'm not, at, I'm not in my place to open it up. So I, I haven't really seen it yet, but just take the opportunity now to, to get some more knowledge and see how we can work at it. So my three questions there, um, uh, I, I need a kind of idea, my heart, my hemorrhoid, and the water. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, Mr. Li uh, Mr. Philip Lim. Huh? Yeah. Okay, if you've seen just now while you were talking, one uh, picture appeared suddenly and went off. Yeah, that yeah. A, yeah, that was a picture of Mr. Shankar. Yes. Uh, business consultant for South Asia. So actually, I think he's quite eager to answer that question about heart attack. Yeah. But anyway, I shall say a little bit before he starts. Okay. okay. Now, he was a patient who his heart was functioning at about 30%. Yes. Not 60%. Yes. I think maybe he should uh, uh, tell about it. Mr. Shankar, would you like to tell about it? Yeah, okay. Good evening, yeah. Mr. Lim. Mr. Philip yes. Lim. Yes, Mr. Shankar. Okay, I will share with you uh, uh, the a little bit of my testimony on 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 my heart. Okay. Yes. Uh, May twenty third, I got uh, I I actually had a heart attack, but I thought I was having a acidity attack. But the next day, when I went and did the ECG and echo. Uh, it showed me, it showed that I had an uh, anterior infarct. Okay. Which is a major attack, actually. Yes. Okay, so they, my friend told me to rush to the hospital. I rushed to the hospital, and then uh, there they frightened the life out of my wife, uh, claiming that they have to do open-heart surgery on me and this and that and all, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Right, right. So I decided to check out of the hospital. I said I am leaving the hospital and I came home. I started treating my heart with the device. Okay. And May 29, I went for my second uh, ECG and echo. Yeah, it showed that my heart was only functioning 30%. Right. Okay. So I was in a danger level. Right. But I said, it's okay. I will continue to treat myself. I continued right. with the blower and on July 1st, one month later, I went for my third ECG and echo. The doctor was shocked. How did my, how did you, what did you do to improve your heart condition so much? Mm -hmm. All right. The doctor asked me this question. So I asked him, what is my condition now? He said your heart is now functioning 43%. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. And uh, in one month, he told me that if you use allopathy, that means the Western medicine, 
Yeah. The maximum that you can improve your heart is maximum also 1%. Right. Okay. So he, he asked me. So I explained with the, about the device. I went back home. The next day, he called me. He called me on my number. He, he asked me for the bank details. He will send money and he wants to buy one device. Mm -hmm. He bought the device and he's using the device now. Okay. Now. I was supposed to go for my uh, first, second, third, fourth, fourth uh, ECG in Echo two days back, August 5th. Yeah. But then since I am traveling all over India at the moment, I was, I was in Cochin and I was very busy. There were too many leaders coming and uh, they were coming and going, coming and going. Okay. So I did not do the ECG and Echo. But on the 11th, when I'm back in India, I will mm -hmm. go for my next ECG and echo. And I will prove to you and I will prove to everybody that my heart is now functioning more than 50%. Because I can feel, I can feel it that my heart is getting better and better daily. Okay. So as long as you do not have any stent or any pacemaker fitted to your heart, you can you please use the device confidently i'm telling you confidently your heart will improve yeah but I, I have got i have got one stand <laughs> okay if you are having a stand you can't use the device on your heart oh, okay. because the stand if it expands due to the heat the chances of your arteries uh, uh rupturing is very great okay Okay, so please don't use it on your heart. Okay. Okay. All right. So, thank you. Thank so you when you when, no when you Sorry. do when you blow the back, Mr. Shankar, and yes. if it penetrates so deep, then it would affect your heart, isn't it? If you are blowing it at yes. the back, it, it, at the heart area, it will definitely affect. Yeah, but if you are from the back as well, say from the from your yes. back. If even in the back area, because it, the, 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 the heat will penetrate at least one foot into your body. So I, so I won't be able to do at, at least on my left hand side. Is that what you're saying? Yes. yes, correct. Okay. You have to be very careful. Okay. So even okay. if my, my neck area and my shoulder area. Yeah. The neck area and shoulder area, you can easily, uh, you can easily use as long as, uh, Mr. Soma or Mr. Thomas confirms that you can use it on the neck and shoulder. You can go ahead. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Philip. Yeah. Just uh, adding on to that, uh, because you mentioned about neck and shoulder area. Uh, yeah. There is a possibility, uh, you know, if you are using a higher amount of heat. Yeah. Then it will increase the blood circulation towards yeah. the heart. Yeah. Okay, so the heart has to work extra hard. Oh, I mean, if you look at it in another way, there's more blood coming through. Yes. So there is a possibility of putting more pressure on it. Yes. So on that uh, basis, you probably have to be a little careful. Start slow. Start in small quantities. Yeah. You feel how it feels to you, whether your heart is giving you problems, yeah. or whether it's being agitated, or whether you're okay with it, comfortable with it. Right. If you're comfortable, then slowly proceed more and more. Because as you start using it, yeah. the better it becomes. Okay. So an alternative to that, I would say is, now use the device to charge water, drink the water. So that yeah. brings in everything, okay? So charging the water, do we put it on the highest level? Okay. And how, how far from the water? Uh, the last uh, talk, I did a test uh, for charging the water. Yeah. And actually I showed to those who were in the, in the meeting. Yep. So basically just a few inches, maybe about two inches or so, okay. uh, where you don't allow the splash to get into the chamber. Yeah. Number one. Number two is, I was using medium speed. Okay. And it worked very well. For about 15 minutes. Uh, actually, I tried 10 seconds, 20 oh. seconds, 30 okay. seconds. I found that 60 seconds gives you the best results. For what kind of volume, Mr. Soma? Okay. I, the other day, I showed for one glass of water. Okay. In the coming week, I'll be uh, showing you different quantities of water. I actually have done the test. 
and uh, I just had got to get the video out. Okay. All right. Okay. So All right. by next week it will be out. Okay. Okay. And then about hemorrhoids, you are asking yes. about uh, to blow directly or not? Yes. Now, when you are talking about hemorrhoids, uh, it has uh, got to do with your colon, your anal, uh, rectum. Yes. Uh, that area. Yes. Okay. And then you are talking about the walls, the inner walls. Yes. And the inner walls, they contain a lot of veins. Yes. A lot of veins running in around in that area. Yes. So over time, uh, you know, people like to use the word aging. Actually, aging, if you're healthy, it doesn't play a big part. Yes. But uh, normally because of that problem, they don't take care. So the walls become thin. Yeah. Because the walls become thin, the veins tend to bulge out. Yeah. And they bulge out either internally or externally. Yeah. Okay. Then at the same time, the food you eat, because yep. if the food you eat is not proper, then your stools become hard. Yep. So as they pass along, they tear the thin walls and yep. you're bleeding as well. Yeah. But if the, your food content is high in fiber, then they manage very well with the water, yep. amount of water inside. It's not so hard. So yep. it's not so bad. Yep. So in this situation, my suggestion is uh, you blow on the walls because the walls are the issue now. It's yeah. the bulge. If the walls are strong, then the bulge will settle itself. Okay. You understand what I'm trying to get at? Yeah. So, so you still have to blow directly on it, isn't it? Yes. That area blow yeah. directly. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So okay. what I'm saying is even if you see the bulge there, uh, the external uh, hemorrhoid, yeah. Don't focus on that area alone because the walls are the actually the issue. Yes, I, I get you. So we focus on, on a, a whole area yeah. as well. Okay. So when you look at the wall, the wall becomes better. That will take care of the issue of the external hemorrhoid. Okay, fine. Okay. okay. Thank that, you. That, then yeah. just coming back to Mr. Shankar was saying, right, because yeah. I have a stand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then he was saying, you know, I got to be careful with the heat as you are saying too. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so will it come a point where where it'll be i mean we are not medical people right so Correct. so we wouldn't know the the thing you're afraid of is what he's saying either either the stand ruptures the wall or or that kind of situation you see so so how do we how do we know careful to what careful or okay, you know the, what i mean the issue is the stand yes now what kind of stand the doctor is using because ah. for him that particular stand Mm. For normal circumstances, for normal daily usage, is mm. sufficient. Yes. It is not designed to uh, receive heat, possibly, Correct. possibly. But there are probably people who, I mean, uh, some places, they might use something which, if, if using the latest technology, right. which can heat. Mm. Now, if that's the thing where if you ask your doctor, he says, don't worry, this is a latest technology, which you can withstand all this, it won't do anything. Then probably you can try. That's my okay. take. Okay. Okay. Because fine. The issue is uh, not the the thing, uh, the, your heart. The issue is the stand. Okay. You need to know what kind of stand is there, whether it can receive heat or not. Well, I mean, <laughs> as far as the doctors are concerned, they're not going to be half the time. They are not committal because they are yeah. also scared. You see? Yeah. So they always tell you better don't try. Doctors you only know? give you a fifty-fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly okay now i mean yeah. i exercise i've changed my diet yeah. i've done a lot of things but because of this instrument that has intrigued me yeah. uh, actually I, I i've already bought the instrument without knowing much about it um so to uh, the instrument arrived today and uh i'm i'm in somewhere else so i haven't even seen it it's at my home yeah. and then i got this chance to to log on uh, to ask some questions and basically i'm i'm also groping in the dark uh, and 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 hopefully trying to find more information to see how we can uh, how we can improve on it and because the hemorrhoid thing is the doctor is telling me i think we've got to cut some more i, I say you're crazy you know um that is the last thing you, you, the... you keep doing this every day if possible yeah. twice a day yeah After a few months you'll be coming back here and telling me that no my problem is settled i i hope and i wish and i will okay <laughs> that that is my my end game it's not the yeah. same and I, as I i'm said, not i'm not i'm not here to defy it because <laughs> i bought the thing I'm yeah. here. I'm here to want it to work for me. That's that's it. I mean, you know what I mean. I'm I'm at an age that, that if it can work, God, I know it's it's a it's a. I, I'm blessed. Not 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 to come here, buy something, 
and say it's rubbish. No way. I buy it and I want it to work so that I go, don't go into more pain and more, more trouble. You know, so, so that is my hope that, that this thing will give me good, well, 70% results, I'm already happy. No, no, no need 100%, you know. So this, 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 is, this is what I'm here for. Not to go against it, but to look for more answers so that it can help me. That is what I'm, I'm here for, you know. It, I mean, money, money, it comes to a point. It's nothing if your health is going down the drain and you, 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 you've got to find all kinds of ways uh, to get it together. And by going to see the doctors and go under the knife is not the answer. You know what I mean? So, so um, I'm here to get more answers and more help from you guys yeah. so that I can, I can have a, a, a better tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> that, that, that is what it's all about. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.